All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I'm going to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. Say, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. And we give double honor to our apostles and our elders, which are the apostles elders, a great millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> 2024, we here. We here, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Uh, beautiful things are getting ready to take place, all right, uh, because the time we had now is that the prophecies are coming to pass. Last year was a eventful, eventful year for prof prophetic events taking place, and 2024 is going to be nothing less than, than spiritual, and we're hoping that this is the year of Jacob's trouble, because once we go through Jacob's trouble and those that are cut for that, that are, that are gold and silver, the finish line, we're home stretch. We're at home stretch. That's another uh, video, Lord willing, I can go into. But the time we are now, the title of the video is Jacob's Trouble Re Will Reveal Who You Are. All right, this is uh, the spirit jumped on me this morning. I was thinking about a lesson and it just came to me and I was like, yeah. And it, it is definitely a true, true saying. Jacob's trouble will reveal who you are. And that's each and every one of us. There's not going to be, because just like the scripture said, that you're going to have to walk this line by yourself. You're, it's uh, the path is only made for one to walk at a time. So when you walk this path, you have to walk your individual path down that down that narrow pathway, fire on one side and water on the other side. So the time we come into is that what we've been doing is prepping ourselves for this time. So those that didn't get the just like the the, the uh, story of the five virgin, the ten virgins, five wise and then ten uh, five wise and five foolish. So the time we were at now, we were supposed to gather the oil. And those that really gathered the understanding, really it goes back to the time of Yahweh Shai, you know, grabbing, grabbing the trust, uh, having the faith in Yahweh Shai in that time where he was, he was with us. He's with us now in the spirit, but the time when he was on the, uh, on the earth as Yahweh Shai, that was the time to really grab that oil. The time we had now is that those virgins are trimming their lamps because the cry was made. And what's that cry? Starting with the man named Abba Bivens, uh, that was crying, which we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, that that is Elijah coming back in the reincarnation. So Jacob's trouble will reveal who you are. And how, how are we gonna go through Jacob's trouble is through, because it says knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. Not maybe, not possible, or we have a couple things that could help out. No, it says knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. So the time we are now, so the guys that was playing, the dudes that didn't really get this thing, people that watched it for entertainment, you didn't really grab the oil. You didn't, you didn't invest. Those that didn't go out to the highways and the byways, those that didn't go out in season and out season, you didn't grab the things, the provisions you need, just like in the scenes of a movie where you see them open up an armory and, and they have to grab guns and grab, you know, things to take with them, just like the Hunger Games, that's it, where you had to choose your weapon. You know, you choose your weapon and what did the, the elect is going to grab the weapon of faith. The weapon of faith is, is built up through, first and foremost, having a belief in Yahweh Shah because there is no other name under heaven whereby men must be saved. So these guys that really didn't believe and that, you know, have money in their their mindset, they have wealth of this world, riches, they they, they really not coming in this truth. Uh, the market of beasts is an embargo, all these different things. That was a part of the gathering process. They gathered to them, they gathered to them stubble. And what did the elect grab? Gold and silver. Gold and silver is likened unto the true understanding of these scriptures, because that's what's really going to manifest itself and and if that's the word really going to bring out in you what what you really are inside what you really if you believe in this thing and you won't be able to fake it just like fire fire is not discriminative fire is not a discriminative element a fire will burn whatever it will burn it will burn wood it will burn silver it will heat up gold but it's going to take the impurities out of it so fire is fire don't fire is not going to it's not going to matter who it's not going to be what's the word um, it's not gonna. It's not gonna take favorites. If you gold and you went into that fire, you're gonna come out pure. Silver, you're gonna come out pure. Wood, you're gonna burn up. You're gonna burn up. Stubble, you're gonna burn up. And that's Jacob's trouble. The furnace of adversity is coming. We in that time now. We've been come out to the public, 
Esau, Esau is well aware of us in our awakening that we're bringing out a lot of his gar, his uh, his dirty laundry that he doesn't want out. The world is is concentrated on him being a monster to to what he's doing with the Palestinian so-called Palestinians over there. So the, they can't look at us and, and call us nothing because guess what? We're not dropping no no bombs on hospitals and different things like that. All we're doing is 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 telling the world who we are through the spirit and power of Yah Bashem Yashai and the scriptures. We go through the Bible. We don't we don't pick up no other book. There's only one book we pick up. So let me jump into this to show that 2024 is going to be a hell of a year because uh, this video right here is called the uh, man. I hope I can bring it up again. Hold on. It's a lot. So this is um, uh, Simpsons prediction for 2024. And this was two months ago. And all I wanted to do was go through the thumbnails. They got Trump 24 president uh, presidential admission. AI robot takeover, Mars, some of these ones we're just going to go, but virtual reality food, uh, female presidency, black holes, um, hover cars. Uh, let's see here. This is what I wanted right here. Economic collapse. Okay. Three world wars, zombie apocalypse. So these things they're predicting. So something's coming down the pipe. And another big thing that we know that something has to come is because Amalek, these these um, Amalekites are, are on the forefront and they don't like that. They like everybody to believe the narrative that they push out there and they're not liking the way the world is moving and not going under their sway. So they're going to do things to get it back in line. All right. Different events. And, and we had an earthquake in New York. Lights went out. So so the year starting out with a bang and it's going to intensify. So I say again, Jacob's trouble is going to reveal who you are and you can't fake it. You can't fake it because the fire, the fire, you can't fake in fire. You can't fake getting burnt. We all got to go on that scale. That's why I says all men have to go on that scale and, and be weighed and see what kind of person you are. What kind of what kind of um, if you make weight, just like if you go into a fight, you have to make weight before you can actually get into that fight. It's called the weighing. And I always bring this out. So the Lord, we have a fight prepared, which is to wait, make weight is to get into the kingdom of heaven. All right. But the time we are now is that those that haven't prepared themselves, that took this for entertainment, that really didn't um, have put enough work in to grab the oil and to maintain the oil and to be a good brother. You know, because you could have been all right through your own personal things. But how much of a brother were you? How did you take care of a man like it, like in your like unto yourself? So these are those those are those little niche things that we have to grab and we have to look for. You know, that's why we love each other, you know, and, and that's in the brotherhood. You know, because we we're loving each other just like we love Yahweh Shai if he was here with us. So this is Isaiah 48 and verse 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. So we're getting ready to go through that affliction. That's how the Lord it says, then you shall know who am I chosen. All right. So the, the things we looking at now is that we want to be find worthy and be found because just like I said in my job, you, you can't this. I can't have a discern, a, a discrimination against a certain object. If it's not up to specs, I can't put it in that in that machine. I can't put it in that build. Because it's not up to spec. It's not. It, it's going to throw the whole, whole, uh, whole part off. So it's not being something that's personal. But you have to be up to spec. The Lord is looking for gold and silver to make up His jewels. To 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 put this together. To put a great work together. Magnum opus, a, a great work. It says, "Behold, I've refined thee, but not with silver. I've chosen thee in the furnace of affliction." And Jacob's trouble is going to be a furnace. It's going to be an affliction time. It's going to be a time for Esau is going to go through it too, but he's going to burn up. First and foremost, he's not an Israelite. He doesn't have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. These guys that are coming out saying that Esau Esau's done away with, those guys are going to burn up. Once this hard time comes in, these there's no more internet, no more, no more room to talk shit. All they're going to be burnt up because they're going to be tried too. It says, for my own sake, See, the Lord say, because what man, what jeweler doesn't want the best, best stones, the best gold, the best silver in his work? Because that's that's going to be his name on it. When the world sees what the Lord has created, 
by the way of the elect, the 144,000 and the one third of Yasha Allah, that's going to, the Lord is going to put a signet on it. That, what's that signet? That's his name. That's his name. Just like Moses asked, who, who should I tell him that sent me? The Lord is going to, we're glorifying the Lord's name because he's the one that's getting ready to establish the kingdom of heaven on the planet earth. So he wants gold, he wants silver, he wants the finer things that, that are going to make up this, this, this uh, great work that he has. It says, for my own sake, even for my own sake, see, twice, will I do it? For how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. So you are almost got to look at these guys that don't want to use the Lord's name and don't want to actually come back to this thing. As that's, that's dangerous for them. Because they're not, they're not taking the oil. They're not coming under the banner of the Lord. That's what the Lord's name, he wants his name to be glorified in these times. That's what he's going to do by way of the elect, by way of the judgment, by way of the angels, the chariots. All these things are going to glorify the Lord's name. Somebody's going to ask, what is going on? Who's doing this? They're going to ask, who's doing it? There ain't going to be no aliens. They're going to they're gonna know that, guess what? These men have been saying this for years, starting with our apostles and our elders. Now I'm going to prove that the furnace of adversity that you see that's going to come. Hold on. It's a lot. Because I'm going to prove that Egypt itself, because when we were in Egypt, that was a furnace. That was a furnace. This is Deuteronomy 4 and 20. It says, but the Lord has taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt. And the word Egypt goes back into bondage. All right. Because the word, the land of Egypt was Mizraim, okay, Martha Zion. That that was the name of Egypt. It wasn't Egypt. So Egypt represents bondage and, and enslavement, just like we're in a, a modern day Egypt, which is Babylon the Great. That's why it has the pyramid. That's why it has the obelisk. It has the 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 going back to the worship of Molech, the owl. It says, "But be unto him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day." And that's going to be the elect. So the Lord's only going to take the elect out this time. This exodus is only going to include the elect. This is the exodus of the elect. Okay, the, and that's a beautiful name, the exodus of the elect. That's what's going to be taken out. It's not going to be the exodus of, of Israel. It's going to be the exodus of the elect. And the Lord is, because the, the Lord is going to put the inward part, the law and the inward parts of the elect, and they're going to shine, and they're going to go after the Lord's ways easily. We're not going to have to worry about no hard-headed or wandering around. That's why the elect is going to come. It says, John said, I see Jer New Jerusalem coming down from heaven as a bride adorned for, for her husband. And that's, yeah, and that's the, the, the elect coming back to Yah Bashim Shai in perfection. And the Lord is going to make up his, his bride, just like our women. We're going to get our women back. They're going to be on point. When they change, there ain't going to be no more ratchetness. There's no, not going to be no more uh, Suki with good, good coochie. None of that shit. All that shit is going to burn here in Babylon. So if the women that, that, are, that are listening and the thing, you're going to have to understand that there's a change coming to you also. It's not gonna, you're going to be under a man. You're going to be perfect. And you're going to yearn, just like the Lord said, uh, told uh, Eve. You're gonna, you, your your uh, lust is going to be towards your husband. Okay, verse 21. Furthermore, the Lord has angry with me for your sake and swear that I should not go for, go over to go not, not go over Jordan and that I should not go and go in unto the good land which the Lord thy power giveth thee for thy, for an inheritance. So if you understand that the Lord was even mad at Moses for speaking out of context, but you got these guys that are that don't even want to use the Lord's name. Moses just spoke out of context. He spoke out of he spoke out he he he, he said that he did something when he should have gave glory to the Lord. So imagine with these guys that are not giving glory to Yahweh Shimei name and, and glorifying Yahweh Shah for what he did. What do you think going to happen to them? You think they're going to skate into the kingdom of heaven doing whatever they want to do? God saying that the book of Hebrews is off. You, you, you denouncing the words of the Lord directly. So that's, that's something that, and this was a man beloved. It said Moses was the most humblest man in the eyes of the Lord, but he, he still caught it, man. That's fearful. Okay. So that's showing you just to prove that Egypt, Egypt was a furnace. So this modern day Egypt is another furnace for us to go through. This modern Egypt in the time, and that's that, and what's going to really intensify as a furnace in the time of Jacob's trouble that we're approaching. Psalm 66 and 10 for it says, for thou, O Lord, it says, for thou, O power, O Yahweh, has proved us 
Thou has tried us as silver is tried. Thou brought us into the net. And what is that? The, the truth. Knowledge, it says this kingdom of heaven is likened unto a net. Thou has laid afflictions upon our loins. That's what you see. We go through hell. We catch hell. But that's, what, that's how you burn impurities out of gold and silver. That's the only way you get it out. You can't get gold. You can't get dross out of silver with, with, with hugs and love. Even though that's a powerful thing, love is a very powerful thing. That's what all everything stems from. But once you want to purify something, you have to put it through just like cleaning product. Water can clean something, but guess what? When you add some detergent or soap, you add another agent, a cleaning agent. That's what fire is. It's a cleaning agent. It's, it's going to purify the elect. Okay? It says, thou has, thou has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest us up, but that Salakia, but thou broughtest us out in a wealthy place to a, into a wealthy place, which is the land of Israel. That's what we're getting ready to go back to. I will go into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which my lips have uttered. That's what you come into this truth. You make a vow. You say you're going to go out there in the highways and byways. You're going to feed the children. What, what did Yahweh Shah tell Peter? Do you love me? Feed my sheep. So that's the same thing he's going to tell any man that comes into this truth. If you love him, feed his sheep. If you love him, feed his sheep. That was the criteria for Peter because Peter was the head. He was, he was turned into the head, the rock. The Lord told him that this is you're the rock that I'm going to build my church upon. Okay? I'm paraphrasing. So that's showing you and proving that the Lord has proven us. And, and, and putting us through that furnace of adversity, that affliction to purify us, to make us gold and silver. And you want to be gold and silver. You don't want a piece of wood and a crown. Even though it might be a nice piece of wood, you, it's still going to throw the crown off. Jeremiah 9 and 7. It reads, Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will melt them and try them, for how shall I do for the daughter of my people? So the Lord is going to, that's, that's the time we're approaching. So we can see where's the gold and silver. He knows where the gold and silver is, but this time is going to reveal the gold and silver. Their tongue is as an arrow shoot, shot out. It speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in his heart he layeth his, lay, uh, but, in, but in heart he layeth his weight, his weight. That's what you see right now, just like Nate and them. You know, I don't want to bring them up, just an example, but these guys that are out here, they don't, they don't really, because if it was for truth's sake, they would listen and, and repent. That's why it says, rebuke a, a wise man and he shall love thee. If you're really wise and you know that because this, this guy has reneged, these other camps have done things, they're really not wise men because they would love a man helping them out. Oh man, the water, ah, the water, man, appreciate it. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. There's times that I've been wrong on certain things and I hey it's nothing to go back and fix it because I'm not perfect I'm not perfect I'm, I'm waiting for my perfection just like you should be waiting for your perfection this time we at now is we waiting for the Lord to purify us and give us that new body and the new spirit to to, to please him utterly right now we're just rehearsing the, to please the heavenly father we can we I, I, it says our righteousness is as filthy rags so we can't we can't get it on our own we can't get it in this flesh So that's what you see happening right now. So we get into the time Jacob's trouble is going to reveal who you are. You won't be able to fake it. You won't be able to hide it because when the things go down and you hungry and you got the 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 um, you got the MOTB in your face, what are you going to do? You ain't going to be able to, 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 to put on no mask then. OK, James 1 and verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. And that's what we come into, right? The crown of life is, is receiving salvation, receiving that honor of that. That's Yahweh Shah placing the crowns on the men's heads that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. It says, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. See, let no man say when he is tempted, I'm tempted of Yahweh for Yahweh cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. Because we come in the time of prophecy. This was already prophesied. Jacob's trouble was coming by the way of what? Esau, these other nations, the world co economic collapse. It says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. So all these things are going to try our, our, our lust of eating, 
Just like Yahweh was in the wilderness of, of, of old, oh, turn this, the, them stones into bread. You're going to tempt the, you're going to have to not tempt the heavenly father. Walk accordingly. The same temptation Yahweh did, we, uh, Yahweh went through. And what did he use? He used knowledge and wisdom to combat the devil. Okay. This is the book of 1 Peter. This is 1 Peter 5 and verse 10. 1 Peter 5 and 10, and I'm going to close. I got I to gotta run into town, but I just wanted to make this lesson because it was heavy on my spirit. This is 1 Peter 5 and 10. It says, but, it says, but the power of all grace who have called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So no way can come into eternal glory unless you come through the sun. After that, he have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So we waiting on that time when the Lord is going to give us these things. He wants to give us the kingdom of heaven, but he has to give it to the elect, which has been promised since the foundation. So that the so the foundation, because the, the elect is just receiving the promise that the Lord promised to them because he promised them in the found before the foundation of the earth. This is Romans 12 and 12. Rejoice in hope, patient in tribulation, continue instant in prayer. Distrib um. I said on that, but the main thing, rejoice and hope, patience and tribulation. So we just keep patience, keep hope, and Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to make a way. So these are beautiful times we're in. We, we, we have been chosen to, to play the, in the final act of Yahweh Shemel Shah, which is a, a very, a very monumentous thing to say you were here, to see any of this time, okay? And that you were chosen to even be here on the earth, not as a baby, not as a senile old man. But you have your members about you. You have your knowledge, wisdom, and you can be able to understand the things we're getting ready to go through, man. To hopefully be the elect, okay? So, Lord willing, said a fine lesson. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to say, call her law, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakwadash. Till the next time, I say, Shalom, and more now than ever, keep faith. We're almost there. Shalom.